this is Ian Williams from Jericho Consulting and I'm still here on the beautiful island of Jersey taking in some of the lovely weather. A few days ago I did a vlog talking about customer journey mapping and the fact that the, the map itself is not really the main benefit of journey mapping. And I wanted to follow up from that today to talk about the fact that if customer experience isn't about transformation then it isn't really about anything. So in the previous blog we spoke about the fact that the real benefit of customer journey mapping comes from the pain points, the moments of truth, the wow opportunities and the commercial opportunities that are generated by the exercise and that these elements can form the basis of a transformational program that sits right across the organisation looking to improve the experience of customers. So the map itself isn't really the main benefit, it's a useful byproduct of customer journey mapping but it's not the main focus. Transformation, however, typically sits with specific individuals across different functional areas of the business. And these people don't always appreciate the benefits of customer journey mapping. If the people in the business who themselves are charged with customer experience management don't always appreciate the benefits of customer journey mapping, then it's not always a surprise that those different business functions charged with transformation don't either. So transformation is usually owned by people working in or coming from more of an operational background. Their approach to transformation is, is usually diagnostic in nature, whereby they look at the way in which the organisation works today and they seek out areas of failure demand. Now, failure demand is where the organisation spends time addressing customer demand relating to commercial and operational failure. And then they look for those areas of failure demand and then, then they look to improve them. And they also look at areas of value demand. This is where the organisation spends time addressing customer demand relating to commercial and operational success. And they look at those areas of uh, failure de uh, value demand for enhancement in order to improve them. So these people are often Six Sigma practitioners and or you know, business process engineering type people. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with a diagnostic approach to business change. And at Jericho, we often follow these business practices for functional transformation projects such as you know, improving call centres and working in retail. However, the downside of di a diagnostic approach can often be that the customer may not be being taken into consideration as much as they should be. The diagnostic approach is the art of looking to improve upon what you already do. However, you can potentially miss the opportunity to create a world-class approach to improving customer experience by looking outside of the box, by looking outside of what it is that you do today. So in the language of customer journey mapping, the diagnostic approach may consider those pain points and commercial opportunities, however may not consider the moments of truth and the wow opportunities that you identify when you do customer journey mapping. So. Customer experience professionals do not only have an obligation to, to improve their own commercial practices, they also have a role in educating the people in the business charged with transformation to understand the real benefits of customer journey mapping. Ideally, customer experience should be working hand in hand with transformation and in some instances business transformation can even be owned by customer experience transformation practitioners. The age of customer experience transformation needs to rise and stand alongside the age of customer experience management.